guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about my most used japanese skincare products so these are my most used and i have to constantly have a backup or repurchase i always go back to them just because they're that good also all of these products i am mentioning are considered japanese drugstore products so they're super affordable that being said let's just get into the list so the first one nature skin conditioner this is hands down my most used japanese product so what ingredient this contains to help settle skin's redness and irritation is jobs tier it has a little picture on the front of the ingredient this is the only skin conditioner spray that i can rely on to really settle my skin a light layer to your skin you don't even feel so all the way from dry to oily can use this huge bottle and they changed the packaging it has a flip lid now a flip cap lid so it's super easy to use this is the backup bottle i have of this if i don't use this i see my skin just goes back to old ways gets super dry feels a lot more unhealthy it's really safe to say that this is probably my most used japanese skincare product like ever my favorite it has made such a difference in my skin that is the first on my list other most used product is the sauna whitening line so i've mentioned using the moisturizer it's really my most used moisturizer because it's my daily one but i wanted to highlight more on the serum concentrated whitening serum so pretty much what it does is it's supposed to illuminate and brighten your skin tone, lighten hyperpigmentation with fermented soybean in it. This is definitely my most used serum. It has a really pretty finish to it. It creates like a brightness and luminosity to the skin, but not only that, it's really great underneath makeup. If you do use it underneath makeup, it creates like a bright glass type finish to the skin. And if you wear foundation on it, it is like a beautiful makeup primer. So you're getting skincare benefits along with a makeup prep step. So this is definitely the most used, especially in my everyday makeup routine. Both the serum and the moisturizer are the first two steps I do before applying foundation, of course. I wanted to mention something that is a new recent most used product. That is the sauna whitening eye cream. So this is the illuminating eye cream. It's great for the night and morning time, but if you do use it in the morning time underneath makeup, really creaseless under concealer. It doesn't like ball up or anything or move around your makeup. It's like a really Really pretty on top of the serum and the moisturizer step to do for makeup but it's not just all about the makeup the skincare benefits are amazing in this eye cream so it actually really has made a difference from the lines that I was starting to get underneath my eyes I feel like it's more plump hydrated not only does it like help plump up the under eyes it also helps the skin underneath so it makes it look a lot brighter a lot smoother eye cream I could say does a difference in your makeup routine because not only is it hydrating it's creating such a pretty effect to the skin concealer and foundation foundation on top of this eye cream just looks brighter and more awake so they're great makeup base but just keep in mind if you guys don't wear makeup that often and still want a pretty finish to the skin with really great skincare benefits i recommend the sauna line next product is also from sauna as well this is their night wrinkle cream Use this product obviously at night it helps with the wrinkles and the fine lines and it's actually marketed to be an eye cream so it's a little bit smaller of a pot but i use it as an all over facial moisturizer and i have noticed between the sauna whitening line and using the night cream it really has made a difference it's going to help with the wrinkles but but what I love about it is that it's not as hydrating or rich gel texture. It's more of like a sinking matte texture to your skin. I do my steps and then I put this as my moisturizer. After I do this, since it isn't as hydrating, I seal it with like a sleeping pack or a gel mask just to sleep in so I can keep this wrinkle cream locked down while I sleep and for it to work. If you are looking for an anti-aging night moisturizer, I really recommend this one. It is my most used at nighttime. Just like the Nature Skin Conditioner, this one I've mentioned so many times. This is the Kose oil or cleansing oil and this is like hands down my most used cleansing oil it's inexpensive and it also helps over time remove sebum from the skin i love this as my daily cleansing oil i use it every single night they have a wide variety of them so you can pick i personally recommend the orange or the pink one i need to put in this video my most used sunscreen and it's the bure uv aqua rich sunscreen it's spf 50 pa 4 pluses so you're getting maximum 
benefits of sun protection. Even though I take a break from this sometimes and I try out new ones, I always go back to this one. So I used to like milk sunscreens a lot, like that was my thing. For some reason over time, it started to look a little drying on my skin. So I switched back to this formula and I'm really happy I did because with the layers of skincare, especially the sauna whitening line, this sunscreen goes hand in hand. It has the same jelly texture as the moisturizer. And if you guys have not tried this sunscreen yet, I feel like you're not gonna be disappointed. Try it out. Spring and summer's coming, so protect your skin. This one is one of the best. For my most used skincare products, now we're gonna move on to hair. So I have tried something new lately. Well, it's not new, but it's new to my routine. And now it's like my most used shampoo and conditioner. The Tabuski Premium X. Premium X. Intensive line is supposed to really help with damaged hair. But even though it's an intensive treatment, it's light enough and gentle enough to use for uh, daily shampoo or every other day shampoo. I love this shampoo because it is gentle, but not only is it gentle, it's really good at cleaning the hair without stripping it. So the best way I could describe it is if you guys use Dove Drugstore hair shampoo, like the intensive repair, it's like that, but 10 to 20 times better. The reason why is it has more natural ingredients in it, Camilla oil in it, royal jelly. You can constantly wash hair with that and those two ingredients don't create more damage or dryness. Smells amazing, it lathers really nicely and it rinses off really cleanly. But guys, if you haven't tried this yet and you are used to Japanese shampoos, they are very intense and they sometimes strip the hair but they make it super, super clean. Just keep in mind that this will clean the hair really well, but since it is a lot more gentle, it does create more natural oils in your hair to come back. So your hair might get a little bit oily, faster but to me i don't mind the natural oils in your hair is what's going to help it grow in the long run if you brush them out it'll stay clean even if you style it with product for two to three days after the third day i do kind of see a little bit oil forming on my scalp but i really don't mind because this shampoo has amazing ingredients in it and i do notice my hair is a lot less frizzy since using this so as far as the conditioner it still has those amazing ingredients in it camilla oil and royal jelly so this is like very similar to their red bottle intensive repair mask but a little bit lighter so it's better for an everyday type conditioner along with the shampoo made my hair a lot less frizzy when it air dries it's smooth i can't really notice as much the breakage in it so it has really kept my hair healthy i consider this my most used everyday shampoo and conditioner really really good i love this hair care brand i think it's highly slept right, on guys, so that was the end of my list i wanted to share with you i hope that you found this quick video helpful i try to get straight to the point and mention products that are actually ones that i use like if i eliminated my skincare shelves i would pick out these products definitely 100 percent say that they are my most used so with that being said if you did find this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and i will see you in my next one bye